Hey guys, in uh, this video we are going to be back to this exact same location and we're going to find ourselves a nice stealth spot to camp off the track somewhere here. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, so I'm on the trail. This is a very uh, well used snowmobile trail so be really surprised if I didn't run into anybody because it's such a nice day out so we'll see hopefully not give you a look at what I see this trail ends up meeting with a railroad and uh, that's where I was earlier but the railroads on this side I did see a path on the way back that uh, I think I'm going to cut through and get to more of the southern part. So, let's we'll see. It's kind of hard to stealth camp in uh, Canada in the winter because, I mean, you can just follow your footsteps. But, couldn't have asked for a better day. It's about four degrees out. But on the same note, we're supposed to have a, a swing in temperature. It's gonna be about negative 10 when I wake up tomorrow. So fine line between walking in light, but bringing enough to uh, be comfortable. All right. So I'm gonna hike for a bit and I'll let you know what's going on. It's been a two kilometer hike, so I'll check in. Oh. I think we're not going that way. This little side is littered with private property. Oh, hopefully I didn't miss my moment. Not sure if you can see that or hear it. That's my train, damn it. Oh, hopefully there's another one. Well, here's my trail that I saw. Yeah, you hear a train. And somebody's been through here. And the snow's deep. Hopefully they're not still here. I didn't see any cars where I parked, but there's a lot of houses. Well, a lot, I mean, country living standards, probably 30, 40. This is rough walking though. See the track. Here it is. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna stash my pack and I'll take a look around. All right. See you in a bit. All right. Stashed my pack and lost some layers. So I'll show you what I see here. This isn't bad here. I'm setting up a little TP tent. It doesn't have a bottom in it. Here's the tracks.
Yes, the train was going that way. It is a beautiful day though. Nothing but rail. So, I'm wondering if I should cross though. Maybe set up on this side. Maybe in there. A little more sheltered and stealthy. Down there. I'm gonna stomp around a little bit. Take a look. You see what looks like a clearing in there. Be worth checking out. But I mean, like I said, I'm gonna do is follow the footsteps. Let's see if I can dig in there. I mean, this is a nice little hole. Off that trail a little bit. Tracks are right there. But I don't know what's under here. Flat it is. Alright, well I'm gonna stomp around a little bit. See if how the ground is, if it's suitable for my tent. Check it out. Little railroad ties. Train, boys. I'm gonna go down the track a little bit because it's dry and then I can ditch off on the side somewhere nobody will see my footprints question is is what kind of print track is that it's like a coyote 
Okay. I think this is my spot. It's big enough. Brush all around me. Tracks in front. All right. Start getting set up. All right. Got all set up. Here's our spot. Right next to the track. Our tent all set up. Classic Canadian setup. And this is what we're going to call home for the night. Beautiful. Got about, oh, I don't know. Let's give it the finger test, shall we? I'd say about an hour and 10 minutes, hour and 15 minutes left of sunlight. So I'm going to get my gear in there and somewhat situated before the uh, sun goes down and then uh, once it starts getting close to the sunset we'll head out to the tracks. Sound good? All right, cheers. Busy place. All right, sun's going down, temperature's dropping. But I'd come out and watch the sunset. Snow's pretty deep here. Just going over. I'll raise you up. I'm happy we got our train, so that's good. It's starting to get a little bit chilly. So, I'm gonna walk the track a little bit here and warm up. And then, uh, we're gonna get back in the tent. And get dinner going and uh, tonight we're having tacos so we're gonna have a bit of a fiesta in there and uh, should be good I will definitely show you all right hey guys we got our meat going and we got another train coming by it sounds like All right, guys, taco time. We're gonna have some dinner. We'll have a pop, and uh, we got everything settled in. I think. Cut out a little spot here to sleep. We got a bivy bag and uh, just a wool blanket and a sleeping pad. And I brought enough clothes to sleep in. It should be good. And uh, hopefully see another train tonight. We got one more too, so it's looking good. Cheers. All right, that's a wrap. I uh, I didn't film on the way out because I left before the sun came up. It was about 5, 5.30. Uh, it wasn't that comfortable of a sleep. It got pretty cold, but uh, it was all right. Not too bad. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.